Give us a time that it's going to take us to get moving again. I really wish I could, buddy, but I'm at the mercy of the electric company. Hey, just sit tight. I'll call you if I get any more information. <sighs> Where were you headed? I hope it wasn't any place important. I was going to a presentation on how to be more effective. It's not so bad you're stuck in here after all. <laughs> so what about you? Oh, I was just headed to a class up on the eighth floor. It's probably canceled by now, though. Well, this is certainly an interesting place to meet someone. Yeah, I'll say. Elevators aren't exactly conducive to long conversations. This is true. So tell me, Christine, what do you think you'd do if you won the lottery? What? You know, if you ever won, won the lottery, what would you do with all the money? I understand the question. I just don't know why you care. Well, you know, we have some time on our hands. And um, like you said, it's not every day that you have a longer conversation longer than two minutes in an elevator with someone. I'm just trying to be good company. Well, I suppose I'd give a lot of it to charity. What? Do you have a better idea for what you'd do with the money? Oh, no, I think charity is a very noble idea. I just think it's, a, it's bullshit that everybody gives that as an answer. You know, if you're trying to be good company, you're not doing a very good job. Oh, I didn't mean anything by it. In fact, to, to some extent, I agree with you. I'd just give whatever I had left to charity. What would you do with the money first? Well, invent something. What would you invent? I don't know, a machine that would make it so you could do things over and over again. So, like a time machine? Well, possibly. I don't know. Um, something that would make it possible to live life without regrets. I think it's impossible to live life without regrets. Well, then maybe I'd invent a potion that would um, maybe affect people's brains so they focus on good, happy thoughts instead of um, hateful and sad things. That's what my therapist says. You have a therapist? I've thought about getting one myself. Do they help? Yeah, my therapist says that uh, you only feel better if you make the decision to feel better. Um, I make that decision every day, and I just don't think I have the ability to feel that way yet.
Does it scare you? What? The thing stuck in here with me. Why would it scare me? Well, I just admitted to you that I thought that I have a therapist and the thought of being st stuck in such a tight place with someone unstable uh, might scare most a lot of people. You don't seem unstable, just wounded. Yeah, my therapist says that too. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm sorry if I did. No, no, you didn't. It's just, I just, you know, I wish it wasn't so apparent all the time. I'm smart enough to know that depression hurts those around you. It's just the thought of hurting anyone that I come into contact with is so frustrating. Not to mention it perpetuates the cycle. You mean the cycle of depression? Yeah, I can hide it pretty well around my acquaintances. Around my family, it gets a little harder. Do they pray for information about your feelings? All the time. If I had a nickel for every number of times my family um, asked me why I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt on the 4th of July, I wouldn't need to win the lottery. So, you've done it before. Done what? John, please join me with my intelligence. I can put two and two together. You wear long sleeves to cover scars on your wrist from your suicide attempts. Yeah. What does it feel like for you? What does what feel like? Wanting to die. Oh, you know, it's like that. It's like Hollywood, you know? Um, dramatize it. I feel like the walls are closing in. And the life is just too much to handle. And my regrets are just too great to hold. It's really, it's a cross between weight and... Hey, sorry about the wait, guys. We're going to get you moving in just a few minutes. Well, Larry, good to hear from you. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about us. Not a chance. John, about the physical feeling of when you commit suicide. Yeah. You were going to say weightlessness, weren't you? like a cross between weight and hopelessness and blind vomit. Yeah, that's exactly it. You lied about where you were going, didn't you? And you lied about the meeting you were going to. I think I'm going to try. I've been wanting to do something to me out of there. 